remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? I want you to remember something. Bad parents are the reason we have bad people. On a recent episode of Black Ink Crew, one of his stars, Sky Days, had a confrontation with her son. I don't know how old he is. I don't know if he's like late teens or early 20s, but it's reported that she's 36 years old. So the son looks to be somewhere around that late teens, early 20s age. His name is Des. What they call him Des. Anyway, they got into it because she accused him of stealing from her. When she accused him of stealing from her, he laughed in her face to basically dismiss the allegations. She then accused him of stealing weeks prior from a CVS. That's when he called her a fraud and she responded by saying she should have swallowed. She said, nobody wanted you. Women, if you are a parent, if you plan to become a parent, if at any point in your life, planned or otherwise, you become a parent, don't you ever, ever, ever fix your mouth to tell your child you wish you would have swallowed. You wish you would have used a condom. You wish he would have did it on your back. You wish he wasn't born. You wish you'd never had him. Don't do that. See, once you say something like that, you can never take it back. And I'm willing to bet almost every single parent who's ever said something like that wish that they could take it back. You would never, ever get love from a child using those type of terms. And I'm going to tell you something else. When a child hears something like that, I'll say a kid because it's probably a grown man, but in any event, it's your kid. When your kid hears something like that at any age, that means you couldn't give a damn if they lived or died. They're probably going to have some very strong resentment towards you. And they're probably not going to care if you live or die. Now, Sometimes when parents got everything going for themselves, they may feel like their kid is a burden. They may feel like they don't need the kid. But in almost every situation, parents have regret. And they wish they had done things differently. Don't ever fix your mouth to say something like that. Also, when you say something like that, your kid, especially if they're young kids, they'll go out there into the world and just do whatever because they don't respect you. You don't respect them. They don't respect you. They don't care about upsetting you. They don't care about inconveniencing you. Like maybe you have to take off of work because they're cutting up in school and you got to go to the school and talk to the principal or you got to go downtown and bail them out of jail or go to juvie, whatever. They don't care about you being inconvenienced because in their mind, you don't care anything about them. So they'll go out there and cut up and not worry about what you're already going through. In your mind, they're being selfish. You already got a heart heavy load to carry already and they're being disrespectful they don't care nothing about that I'm telling you from experience because my mama told me that one day I wish I would have never had you man I hit them streets and I was I was cutting up man because I didn't care about what my mama thought of me 
because I felt like she didn't love me. So I just went out there, man, and did whatever. Luckily, I caught my snap and I got to a point where it didn't matter what anybody said about me. I learned to love myself. And once I did that, I gained control of my mind. And so my actions were at that point dictated by what I wanted out of life, what I wanted to do, not what somebody else wanted to do. I wasn't being reactionary. I was being proactive. It was all about, I had a plan, and if something didn't coincide, my actions did not coincide with, well, put it like this, if my actions were not consistent with, well, not even my actions, if an action was not consistent with my plan, it was, if it was not going to get me to where I was trying to go, if it was not going to help me accomplish my objective, I pretty much didn't do it. But parents, you don't want to be that type of parent. You don't want your kids, you don't want to ever use those type of words toward your child. That is bad parenting one-on-one. -on -one. You have to have better control of your emotions. That's why they call it child psychology. A lot of parents, they don't know how to control their emotions and they act out like children. They really do argue like children. They reason like children. They behave like children. You have to use child psychology when dealing with children. And even if the child is grown, you still have to use, there's still a certain level of child psychology that can be used you being the parent. You got to think before you speak, before you open your mouth, before you let that mouth go, you have to engage your brain. I think that Sky Days and her son need some therapy. They need to sit down and talk to somebody because I see a major train wreck happening here. They probably go to, through this type of stuff all the time. But there'll come a day when there won't be any other days. And those are the kind of days that you can't get back. We just had a conversation the other day about how some women call their daughters the B word. And they mean it. As parents, we have to learn how to communicate with our children, how to properly communicate with our children because the way we communicate with them is the way they're going to communicate with us and the rest of the world. You got to give them a chance. If you don't teach them how to properly communicate with people, especially when there's conflict, when they have differences, they are going to be in a world of trouble. You're going to send them out there unprepared. And that mouth is going to get them in trouble. It might even get them killed. Think about that. Another thing. Tomorrow ain't promised. So if you got a family member, a son, a daughter, a mother, a father, and y'all beefing, patch it up. Tomorrow ain't promised. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?